All right, welcome back to my opinion. Uh, this video is going to be about the number one thing that you need to look for when choosing your carry pistol or your home defense pistol for that matter. Um, a pistol in general, but especially your home defense, carry pistol, a, a, a firearm that you're going to use to defend your life or your life. The number one, the most important thing that you need to do before choosing your firearm, research the reliability of that gun. I was at a gun store just a little bit ago picking up a box of ammo and there was a guy in there that brought back his uh, Springfield Hellcat um, and those might be just fine uh, but his just might be a lemon I don't know I haven't really researched a Hellcat because I haven't looked at buying one I don't know how they are some guns you hear a lot about all the time because they just have so many problems. Some guns you hear a lot about all the time because they have no problems. And some guns, it's hit and miss. I don't know about the Springfield Hellcat. All I know is this guy brought it in to the gun store, wanted to bring it back or to have it sent back to Springfield. And of course they told him you have to do this, this, and this. And then, you know, we can do this, this, and this, blah, blah, blah. You know, what you need to understand is if you buy a firearm on a whim because it's cheap, for example, and there are exceptions, you, you can't just bring it back. It's not a shirt. You know, you can't just bring it back to the place you bought the gun from. So you really need to research this gun. Get on YouTube. See what people say. Not, not the gun magazines. Those guys are so biased, it's unreal. They're just advertisers for money. See what people who own these guns say about them. People will tell all. People will tell you, hey, I've... look at reviewers. Take those with a grain of salt, too, because a lot of the YouTube reviewers get these guns for free. They get endorsements. They get money from the companies, etc., so on and so forth. See what the average Joe Schmo, who makes a video on his Glock 43, says about it. And look up how many there are. For example, my carry gun is a Beretta PX4 Storm. Reliability-wise, it's utterly reliable. I researched it, I got one, and the likelihood that all of the videos out there, all the data, all the people who own one are going to be wrong and yours is crummy, is very slim. I think I found one video where a guy had problems with his uh, out of tons of videos. Whereas, like, for example, the Sig P320, you know, tons of drop issue problems, tons of stuff on that. Um, the Taurus G series pistols, very affordable, very cheap, um, but yet gets a lot of good reviews. It's a great little pistol. I have one of those and I've owned another one, never had any issues with them. I've never put, you know, a couple thousand rounds through them either, but from what I've seen, on YouTube, etc. Reviewers, they seem to hold up real well and, and be really good for, you know, home defense gun, uh, a carry gun. Uh, and I'm just talking about reliability. I'm not talking about how does it fit your hand, how, you know, is it comfortable to carry? Because like my PX4 Storm, for example, is a little bit of a thick girl. She's a little chunky. But I'm willing to be okay with that for that utter reliability that it has and it's a little heavier but I'm okay with it I can carry it comfortably and it, it feels good in my hand all that 
Um, the thickness doesn't bother me because I'm a big guy. I can conceal very well. I know what to wear, how to conceal. I don't wear tight t-shirts. You know, I'm not fat or anything like that. I don't have a big beer belly, but I can conceal stuff easier. Um, that's something that you need to think about when you're picking your firearm. That's the most important thing, reliability. Even if it doesn't feel that great in your hand, even if it's not the most glove-fitting firearm, reliability should come above that. Now, I'm not saying buy a gun and you, you hate to even carry it, shoot it, wear it, whatever, because you're not going to. But I am saying don't choose a gun just because it looks good. Uh, like my wife, for example, um, she'll look at guns and the first thing she notices is if they're purple. Purple's her favorite color. And, you know, she doesn't buy the gun because it's purple. But that's one of her first things. But then she, you know, she listens to uh, what they say about it before. Blah, blah, blah. But reliability is the most, the most important thing. If that gun has a track record of being unreliable, of being uh, having problems like the Sig P320, or you know, and I've I've done those things. I bought I bought a Colt. I, I forget what the model was. A long, long time ago. Man, it was a cool pistol. A semi-automatic pistol. Felt great in the hand. Looked cool. It was different. Uh, it was a Colt. Can't go wrong with a Colt, right? Wrong. Oh, this thing was junk. It jammed every other round. And I, that's not saying you won't have a gun like a Glock. I've owned lots of Glocks. And for the most part, I've had great luck with clocks, but I have owned a few that had issues. Now, that was back when they were pushing out firearms like crazy, because uh, it's such a demand for guns, so it could have been a problem there with the uh, quality control. But, for the most part, Glock, you know, there's lots of, uh, the Sig P320, you know, I owned one of those, and it was a great gun, great trigger, but then when the drop issue came about, and I watched some YouTube videos where guys actually showed it, yeah, they weren't, you know, making it up or anything, I got rid of it immediately. That's very unsafe and unreliable. That gun needs to go off. That needs to fire. You need to feel secure that that gun is not going to jam on you. If you research a gun on YouTube, for example, by a bunch of average everyday people, and say one third of them, one third of the videos you watch, they have issues, or even one out of ten of the videos. Say you watch, say you watch um, 50 videos. Now, I'm not saying watch that many, but say you watch 20 videos, and two or three of them have the same issues you know you've got about a 2 or 3% chance that that gun's going to be bad. Um, a lot of times, usually the, the guns that have issues, it's going to be more videos than that. Uh, you got to watch it too, because sometimes it's someone who's saying, oh, this gun's junk, it did this, it did this, because they messed with it. They filed down something that shouldn't be filed down or so on and so forth. So you do have to take it with a grain of salt, just like the one video I found of the PX4 Storm where someone had issues. I'll bet I've watched 100 videos, and that seems to be the only one. That guy could have messed with his, his uh, gun. Um, sometimes if you watch the video through, you, you'll see where they confess that they messed with it, they did, did, that they did something to it. Um, but yeah, reliability, above all else, above the color, above how it feels in your hand, um, reliability. Because 
yes, you can send it back and you can get things fixed, blah, blah, blah. But we've all heard the horror stories of people having to send a gun back several times. It comes back the same way. Um, or just the hassle of sending it back. So, you know, you, you do have to do the research. And make sure, you know, you're, you're buying it one time. You don't want to have to. And then, you know, even when you get it back after they've fixed it, hopefully, then you're still, you, you lose that self-assured feeling. You're not going to get that back. I always had a policy if I bought a gun and I had issues with it. Like, I've owned several SIGs and I, I've had issues with them. I got rid of them. I stopped buying SIG. And then even the 365 has a lot of issues. Get on YouTube and look. Don't don't take my word for it. Check it out. Uh, especially when guns first come out. When guns first come out, they tend to have some issues. So, you know, you might want to think about that, too. But anyway, that's my opinion. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, stay safe. Be safe. Remember, reliability, track record of reliability is the most important thing. Thanks a lot, guys.